turbulence. The word alone can make some passengers grip their seats a little tighter. You're flying smoothly at 35,000 feet, maybe sipping your coffee or watching a movie, when suddenly the cabin starts to shake. The plane jolts up and down side to side and your brain instantly wonders, is this normal or is something going horribly wrong? The truth is, turbulence is one of the most common and most misunderstood bomb parts of air travel. It's not a sign of a failing aircraft. It's not a warning of disaster. It's simply a result of physics, weather, and the invisible motion of the atmosphere surrounding us. So what exactly is turbulence? In simple terms, it's chaotic or unstable air movement. The atmosphere is never perfectly still. It's constantly shifting due to temperature differences, pressure changes, terrain, storms, and high-speed air currents. When a plane flies into one of these unstable zones, it reacts, not because something is broken, but because it's being pushed and pulled by invisible forces in the sky. There are several types of turbulence, each caused by different atmospheric conditions. One of the most common is called clear air turbulence, or CAT. This type happens at high altitudes, typically near jet streams, which are narrow bands of fast-moving air. Planes often fly near or through jet streams to save fuel and time, but sudden changes in wind speed or direction can create sharp, invisible jolts. The problem with CAT is that it doesn't show up on radar, so pilots don't always see it coming. Another type is thermal turbulence caused by hot air rising from the Earth's surface. You've probably felt this if you've flown over deserts or during the afternoon on a hot summer day. Then there's mechanical turbulence, which occurs when wind blows over mountains or buildings, disrupting the airflow. And lastly, we have wake turbulence created by other aircraft, usually during takeoff and landing, when strong vortices trail behind the wings of larger jets. Now here's the important part. Turbulence almost never poses a danger to the airplane itself. Modern airliners are built to withstand forces far greater than what turbulence typically delivers. Their wings can flex without breaking, the fuselage can absorb shocks, and systems are designed with redundancy. Pilots are trained to handle all types of turbulence and are constantly in communication with air traffic control, other planes, and weather services to avoid it when possible. Still, turbulence can cause injuries, but almost always to people who aren't wearing their seatbelts. According to the FAA, between 2009 and 2021, there were 146 serious injuries due to turbulence reported in the United States. That's over a 13-year period. And when you consider there are over 25,000 commercial flights per day in the U.S. alone, it becomes clear how rare these incidents actually are. In May 2024, one person died and over 100 were injured on a Singapore Airlines flight that encountered severe turbulence. It was a tragic event, but it's important to know that this level of turbulence is extremely rare. In that case, many passengers weren't wearing seatbelts and the plane was flying through an area with strong jet stream activity. Most of the time, turbulence ranges from mild to moderate and passengers experience nothing more than a little shaking and maybe a spilled drink. So why does turbulence feel so scary, even when it's not dangerous? Part of it is psychological. Humans are used to being on solid ground. When that ground starts to move, our brain sees it as a threat. In a plane, you're moving at nearly 900 kilometers per hour, in a sealed cabin, with no visual reference to the outside world. The sudden jolt triggers a fight or flight response, even if the situation is under control. That's why pilots always recommend keeping your seatbelt fastened, even when the sign is off. Most turbulence-related injuries happen when people are walking around the cabin or when the seatbelt is unfastened during unexpected bumps. The seatbelt is your best defense, not against crashing, but against being thrown into the ceiling or injured by flying objects. Interestingly, there's another factor that's making turbulence worse, climate change. Studies have shown that as the planet warms, the jet streams are becoming stronger and more unstable. A 2023 study published in the journal Nature found that clear air turbulence over the North Atlantic increased by 55% over the last 40 years. Moderate turbulence rose by 37% and light turbulence by 17%. That means more bumpy flights ahead, not because planes are less safe, but because the skies are changing. However, aviation authorities and airlines are adapting. New satellite data, more advanced weather models, and real-time turbulence reports from pilots help modern planes avoid the worst of it. Some newer aircraft even have sensors that can detect turbulence seconds before it hits, giving pilots a chance to slow down or alert passengers. At the end of the day, turbulence is part of the flying experience. It's like hitting a pothole on a highway. Uncomfortable, maybe a bit annoying, but rarely dangerous. Planes are built for it. Pilots are trained for it. 
and if you stay buckled up, you'll be just fine. So next time you're on a plane and feel that familiar shake, try to relax. It's not a sign of danger. It's a sign that you're flying through one of the most dynamic environments on Earth. The sky might shake, but you're safe. And if you enjoy learning how the world works, from the mysteries of flight to the secrets of space, science, and everyday phenomena, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Almost Fiction. Most. Every week we bring you fact-based stories that make you say, I never knew that. No nonsense, no clickbait. Just clear answers to big questions. Thanks for flying with us today. See you in the next video. Please subscribe our channel.